Hello and welcome to the Mint Report, a wrap-up of the day's business news. Here's a look at the top stories. Bajaj Auto quarter four profits fell by 1%. IPL clouded by spot fixing charges. Sri Sant arrested for questioning. Sensex climbs to two-year high led by lenders. A look at the news in detail now. Bajaj Auto said its net profit fell by 1% for the fourth quarter ending March. Sales in the local and overseas markets fell as the company faced competition from other Japanese bike makers. The net profit of the company fell to 766 crore rupees from 772 crore rupees in this same period previous year. Net sales rose to 4,651 crore rupees, though sales of motorcycles and three-wheelers for the whole year contracted by 4%. The company said shareholders will get a dividend of 45 rupees per share. It also announced plans to launch at least six new Discover models in the current fiscal. Bajaj Auto shares slipped by half a percent to close at 915 rupees. Moving on. The Indian Premier League has again been hit by a controversy. Early this morning, paceman S. Shrishant and two other Rajasthan Royal players were arrested by Delhi police over spot-fixing charges. The players have been suspended by the BCCI for now. The other two players are Anki Chavan and Ajit Chandela. According to Delhi Police Investigations, the players received up to 60 lakh rupees for one over for giving away runs. At least 14 bookies with underworld connections abroad have been arrested. Spot fixing refers to a fixing a certain limited outcome in a match, such as delivering a no-ball or being dismissed in a particular way. Lastly, a look at the stock markets. The good run in the Indian shares has continued with the indices touching a two-year high today. The gains were bolstered by strong foreign fund inflows. The rally was led by lenders like ICICI Bank that touched a three-and-a-half-month high. Sensex added 34 points to close at 20,247. Rival Nifty added 23 points to close at 6,169. Traders are expecting a rate cut in the next monetary policy review to help revive the economy. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching.